Let's get down and dirty in the deep freeze. If you have a big family, then buying in bulk is probably a necessity. My house is always full of kids who are always hungry and wanting to be fed, so I use my deep freeze all the time. Let me share with you some of my tips and tricks for keeping it clean and organized and ready to use. Make sure that the freezer is clean. Take this time while organizing and while everything is out of the freezer to do a really good deep clean. Oftentimes the deep freeze gets overlooked just because we use it so much and it's so far down there and we don't always have anything out of it. It's usually always full. So while we have the stuff out, go ahead, get some soap and water, that's all you're going to need, and clean it as good as you can. Now, when you remove the items from your freezer, make sure that they don't have freezer burn, they're not expired, and then you want to group your like items. You want to put your beef together, your chicken together, your ice cream together, your pork together, etc, etc. Organization in such a deep space can be tricky. Get yourself some bins or tubs that are stackable. You can even have lids on them. Then label your bins and tubs and put all of your groups of items into it. One tub will get only beef. One tub will get only chicken. One tub will get only popsicles. Label the tubs, stack them in there nice and neat, and then they'll also be easy for you to move whenever you're ready to use the items. My last tip for you for keeping the, or the deep freeze organized is to compile a list of items that you have inside. I normally keep a notebook in the top drawer of my desk in the kitchen. It lists everything that I have in the deep freeze. Whenever I go to a grocery store and I come home with items that I need to put in the deep freeze, I will just add them to my notebook, stick them back in the drawer, and I'm ready to go. Whenever I am going to cook dinner and I need to know if I have an ingredient, I don't have to run all the way to my garage or to my basement to check my deep freeze. I can just check my notebook, see what I have, mark off the things that I take out, and start cooking dinner. If you have some organization tips for your deep freeze, maybe there's something you do that you would love to share with the world. Please leave it down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Welcome to DIY Your Life. If you love DIYing, organizational cleaning and craft videos just as much as I do, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell icon next to subscribe so you never miss a video. You might have some friends and family who love DIY just as much as you. Be sure to share this video and all of the videos that I have on your social media so that way everyone can benefit. Also, right down there is a thumbs up button. Click it for me, will ya? Thanks.